My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor <clears throat> with IRS. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTubes are short, sweet, and to the point. Me and my M&M man really love you being here. So uh, I started this YouTube channel so I can tell you what, from an IRS agent perspective, really what you need to know. I kind of remove all the, a lot of the junk and, and, and stuff that's out there and all the razzmatazz of people selling you and just tell you the, the plain truth. I have a very sizable client base, so I spend about a half hour a day throwing these YouTubes out to you. So today I want to talk to you today if you owe back taxes. Is IRS doing anything during this COVID time? Uh, yeah, you need to know that. The IRS ain't doing jack. Uh, IRS has to do the same thing they've always done. There's no special programs. The Fresh Start program doesn't help you. Fresh Start program really isn't what you hear this way. <laughs> it's like this really big it ain't a big deal at all. It helps kind of very small part of the population, if, if any. So IRS has the same formulas to work their debt, their back debt that they always have. So you're not, now let me tell you, I should say, let me tell you where you'll get COVID relief, is if your income's been cut down, if you had a medical problem, IRS is going to take that into effect. But there are no special COVID programs be if you owe tax debt. The debt is the debt. The debt has to be paid. And there's three programs that are going to apply. And the three programs that are going to apply are either you're going to be put in <coughs> currently non-collectible or hardship. You're going to be put into a payment agreement. Or you may be able to file an offer and compromise. Those are the three programs that are there. Remember, you can discharge certain taxes. And IRS has 10 years to collect the money. You should, uh, the statute of limitations. But generally, COVID has done nothing. Basically, when you fill an IRS 433 or 433F, which is their financial statement on, where it is going to affect is your bottom line and your income. So if you can show IRS that you're going through a hardship, what IRS is going to do, they're simply going to go ahead and delay the collection of the case. They put you in a currently non-collectible. While you're in a currently non-collectible, the penalties and interest continue to run, and they're going to re-explore the case probably in a couple years. So if you're saying, what is the benefit? I went through this. I've had a business loss. I've had this. IRS will probably, probably put more people into this hard, uh, uh, a hardship or currently non-collectible payment than they've ever ever made in the past. But remember, the debt's still there. The debt's not going away. And at some point in time, you have to have an exit strategy on the case. And generally, the exit strategies are the 10 years a statute of limitation goes, or you're going to try to qualify through an offer and compromise. You know, that's what we do, but it's, it's not easy to qualify them. It's best to find out, do your due diligence on the offer and compromise program. I used to work them at IRS. They're not for everyone. And if you qualify, the whole idea is to have an exit strategy on your case. If you're stuck in the middle with a five-year statute, six-year statute, and your statute's going to run in another five years, you either got to be low-key or you got to look to settle the debt through the offer. So remember, there are no certain programs IRS is still going to take your financial statement. They're going to apply the IRS National Standards Program. And if that hardship during this time has hit you, you're probably going to go into a uh, this uncollectible status. You stay in uncollectible status usually for, I don't know, a couple of years. Uh, IRS will take any refunds. If you don't want your refunds taken, probably want to make sure you change your withholding or estimate payments. Anyway, if you have any questions, you can write, you can email. By the way, if you would, there's a subscription button on your, your, your thing. If you hit it, I appreciate it. Unfortunately, YouTube values what I do by subscriptions. So uh, a like's always special, but the subscription's the best. I hate to beg. That's the only thing I'm begging for. Anyway, at the end of the day, um, uh, if you have a question or comment, leave it. My YouTube's actually come from you. Uh, being a former agent, you can uh, understand I've asked a lot of questions on a lot of different things. I look at all the comments. I answer all my comments by the end of every week, just so you know. So if you leave something and I really think it's YouTube worthy, I'm going to make a, uh, a video based on your comment. Once again, I appreciate the subscription and have a good one. Thank you so much. Me and my M&M man, give you a thumbs up.